One of our greatest concerns and my greatest concerns is when you look at what's available for the taxpayers to see on the website or when you contact the Forest Preserve District, there isn't a lot of information available at the touch of a button. Like you, you can in Donors Grove, you can see every ordinance, you can see every budget. Uh, you really have access as a member of the public. When you go to the Forest Preserve District website, you see regulations just about you know how to get uh, a license or certain permits, but there isn't information about the bidding process. Or And the budgets are online, but again, those budgets are not easily understood. Uh, you could really have an opportunity there to have a, an explanation of what this budget means and really how it affects the taxpayer. Uh, what is a levy? What does that mean? People don't really understand those terms unless they study them and they spend a lot of time. But I think it's most people don't have that kind of time and they would like to have that quick information um, and have an understanding of what the levy means. How does that really affect your property taxes? Where does all the money come from? It doesn't all come from our levies. Um, there's, there's government grants that people use. There's income that comes into the forest reserves through uh, the fees that they uh, charge and all the different activities that they have. Where, are we, where is the investment income coming from? How is it being invested? Uh, that information I think should be more available to the public and we will definitely do that. Uh, and definitely have every ordinance online. County, the county has every ordinance online, and so certainly the Forest Preserve District should as well.